Hello viewers, welcome to another episode on IAS in depth. Today we are shining a light on a spice that is as golden as its hue suggests. Yes, we are talking about turmeric. Recently, a major announcement was made by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. They have introduced the National Turmeric Board. But what does this board aim to do? And why should we be excited? For starters, did you know India stands tall as the world's biggest producer, consumer and exporter of turmeric? That's right. From Maharashtra to Tamil Nadu, our land is blessed with over 30 varieties of this golden spice. So let's talk about the National Turmeric Board's mission. It's not just about producing turmeric, it's about amplifying its significance. They're all set to boost awareness and use of turmeric. I'm talking about the board to boost awareness and use of turmeric, both here at uh, home India and internationally. Also to explore and open doors to new global markets, dive into research to come up with the new turmeric based products. And most interestingly, bring to the forefront our age-old knowledge crafting value-added products with turmeric. And here's the golden goal. Government is eyeing to amplify turmeric exports to a whopping US dollar 1 billion by 2030. The board is not just about numbers and markets. They aim to lead discussions and actions on everything turmeric work hand in hand with other government agencies, arm our turmeric farmers with skills and knowledge, uphold the highest standards in quality and safety, and at, it, at its core, ensure the well-being and success of our turmeric farmers. So you can, you can read the functions, lead on turmeric related mat matters, coordinate with the spices board with and uh, other governmental agencies for turmeric sector development focus on capacity building and skill development for turmeric growers ensure quality food safety standards and adherence aim to fully utilize turmeric's potential for humanity and also to focus on prosperity and well-being of turmeric growers through value addition closer to the farms but who will be steering this ship? The board. The board will have diverse minds on board. On board. From a chairperson chosen by the central government. So I'll read it out. Board composition. Chairperson appointed by the central government. Members from various ministries and departments, including the Ayush Ministry, Pharmaceuticals, Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and commerce and industry representatives from three states on a rotation basis representatives from research institutions turmeric farmers exporters secretary will be appointed by the department of commerce board's secretary will be appointed by the department of commerce and some fact before we wrap up during the last year, India exported a substantial amount of turmeric, valued at over 207 million US dollars. Main export destinations are Bangladesh, the UAE, the USA and Malaysia. So largest producer is India, consumer is also India and exporter globally is also India. Largest exporter of turmeric is also India. Turmeric cultivation in 2020-23 is 3.24 lakh hectares with the production of 11.61 lakh tons it is over 75 percentage of global production over 30 turmeric varieties are grown across 20 plus states in india and major producing states in india are maharashtra telangana karnataka and tamil nadu india's world trade share in turmeric is 62 percentage it's a whopping number 2022-23 exports 1.534 lakh tons of turmeric and products va valued at 207.45 million US dollars by 380 plus exporters. Main export destinations Bangladesh, UAE, USA as well as Malaysia. Okay, 
So turmeric is not just a spice, it is India's golden gift to the world. With the establishment of the National Turmeric Board, the future indeed looks uh, as bright as the spice itself. So please be aware that in the next year, in the preliminary examination, you can expect a question from National Turmeric Board, composition of it or uh, any other aspect of the National Turmeric Board. So please study about National Turmeric Board. So thank you for joining us on IAS in depth. If you found this episode enriching, don't forget to hit that like button, share and of course subscribe for more enlightening stories. Until next time.